Hi guys and welcome to Freckle Finance. Today I'm going to talk to you about seven things I save money on for my wedding. I haven't mentioned this yet on my channel, but I'm getting married in less than three months and I thought it would be good to make a video on what I decided was good to compromise on for my wedding and just what I spend less money on so that I can save money on my overall wedding. One of the very biggest things I save money on for my wedding is I don't have an engagement ring. I didn't want one. I made it very clear that I didn't want one. I have metal allergies. I'm just not really a fan of jewelry. I had some traumatizing ear piercing experiences as a kid, so I don't really care about the engagement ring that much, so I didn't think it was worth money to get one. The second thing is my boyfriend's uncle is doing photography for us. He is a hobby photographer. He took the photos at his sister's wedding and they turned out great. And really, I don't need some fancy high and super snazzy thousands of dollar photo at my wedding. Photography can be a very expensive part of the wedding as well. And we were able to eliminate it. The third thing we saved money on was a DJ. We did a ton of research on DJs, um, prices and all that stuff. And they just seemed really expensive just to play music basically. But what we were able to do is we actually hired one that lives about an hour away from here. He plays at my boyfriend's sister's school dances and stuff like that. So we know he knows how to play music and DJ. And he was about a third of the price of any local DJ around here. And we knew for sure that he was going to be good. Now, the one thing is you need to make sure that they are a good DJ. Some of them have really inexpensive prices that might want to entice you to hire them and they may not even know what they're doing. So I recommend if you live in a large city like us, you should look for DJs and photographers outside of the city because the cost for them to travel here does not even come close to coming to the price that it costs to hire local DJs and photographers. The fourth thing we saved money on for was a limo rental. And this is honestly something I don't even think is essential for any wedding. However, um, we have good transit to our venue. I am able to get ready at the site and he is able to get ready here and just travel to the site. He can probably get a friend to drive him if public transit's not going to work. Either way, we do not have to pay for transportation and that's really kind of a non-essential of weddings anyways. So the fifth thing we saved quite a bit of money on for our wedding was wedding invitations. Um, we ordered ours off of Vistaprint and the price was ridiculously cheap. It was under $45 for all our invites. Now we still obviously have to pay for postage and that's kind of going to be the main part. But what we did on our invites is we refer everyone to go to our website and that's where all the information they're going to need is going to be and that's where they can RSVP as well. And another bonus of this website is we were able to get exactly the same invite in both French and English. So that's awesome as well because we have French people attending our wedding. The sixth thing that I saved money on for my wedding was my wedding dress. Now, I have to say, I feel like I really lucked out on this situation. There was a very good um, liquidation sale for an entire store closing, and they were like, any dress, doesn't matter, all of them, $200. So I went there and I spent $200 on my dress plus tax. This was not a place where I got catered to or anything like that. I had to stand in line before I could even get inside. And once I got inside, I had to myself sift through all the racks and see what dresses I like that I want to try on. And then you have to get into line to try on a dress and you only get to try on three dresses. I was fortunate that I had tried on dresses at another store previously and I kind of knew what style I wanted and I was able to find something. As well, because my dress was found at a liquidation sale, it was much cheaper than any other dress I could find as the minimum non-sale price of anywhere else. Previously, I had shopped at David's Bridal and their cheapest dresses were kind of $300 and they were extremely plain. And the dresses I was looking at that I was like, maybe I'll buy were around $500. And honestly, this dress is just so much better. But um, if you don't have liquidation sales, I would suggest trying to look for them early on and just wait it out and obviously don't wait too long. For it but definitely try to look out for liquidation sales as you can get some really good deals on a dress if you're willing to put up with all the stuff you have to put up with at a liquidation sale i should say as well that i was also lucky that the dress fits me basically perfectly and other than getting a bustle done i am not doing any alterations to my dress at all the seventh thing for my wedding that i saved money on was my wedding band i'm going to call this more frugal than cheap um, because I mentioned earlier that I have metal allergies, I had to go with a platinum band and those can be 
fairly expensive. What does make this frugal is that I bought my ring online. What I did is I went into Walmart and I got my ring sized and I went online and purchased my ring. Now my friend bought it, her wedding band from this site as well so I knew that it was a well trusted site. And what it is, is it's Blue Nile. Here's my ring right here. Um, I'm gonna put it on my finger for you, just one sec. So here's my ring right here on my finger. I didn't have to pay um, any shipping for it at all. It was $587.50 with tax. Now I think that's a lot, but like I said, it's a platinum ring. And I looked online and at other places, it would have cost about $790 to get an equivalent style ring from any um, in-store jewelers that you would go to. And mine also came with, um, it's inscribed with our wedding date on it as well. So that came with the price. So the wedding ring may not have been as big of a savings as maybe some of the other things in my wedding, but it was still a savings and every little bit counts. So that's my video on how I saved some money for my wedding. I will probably do a video in the future on things that I felt were worth spending more money on for my wedding. And you know, later on we'll cover whether I feel that these purchases and savings were actually worth it, but I haven't had my wedding yet, so I can't really make that judgment call yet. If you guys find these videos interesting and informative, and you want to learn more please click subscribe because i'm going to be uploading videos every monday wednesday and friday and there will be more wedding related videos to come